Hi, this is Charlie Calvert, and let's do a little basic HTML. We'll learn today about the anchor tag and the href attribute, which allows you to provide hyperlinks between one page and another. I have a copy of Expression Web open here, so I'm going to choose File, New, HTML Page, and I'll call my first page here the default page, and I'll go ahead and save that. And uh, there's my page, default.html. I might as well perhaps uh, <coughs> change this tag, so I'll press Control shift s to put the focus up here and the, on the style area, and then I'll press Alt and down arrow and choose Heading 1 for that tag. So now I've got my default web page, and if I press F12, I can actually run that page and look at the site. Now, this is very nice, but sometimes we want to have more than one page in our site in order to add uh, more complexity to our site. So we'll go ahead and add a second page, new HTML, and we'll call this one page 2. And we'll go ahead, control shift, then alt down arrow, then our heading, and we'll go ahead and save this as page 2.html, just taking the defaults that Expression Web gives us. And then we'll go back here to our main page, and we'll type in the words um, link to page 2. And now to convert it into a hyperlink, we simply select that text, press Control K, and select the page that we want to link to, which is page 2, and click on OK and save our work. And now when we press F12 and we run, we can link to page 2 from page 1. So if you wanted to do it uh, another time, we can show you maybe a little more um, in-depth what's happened by showing you some of the code that happens behind the scenes. I'm using the visual tools here. So let's go ahead and create <coughs> another HTML page. And we'll call this page 3. And again, we'll um, make it a heading. And again, we'll save our work using the defaults. And we'll go back to the main page, and this time we'll switch to the code view. And if you look at the code view, you can see that our previous link began with a paragraph tag, a p tag. Then it had an anchor tag and an href attribute, which specified the path to the page that we had. And if that page weren't in this directory, we might specify a relative path of some kind. But right now, it's right in our same directory so we can just leave it the same. And then any text that we want to display to identify what the tag does. Then we close out our anchor tag and we close out our paragraph tag. So we can do that ourselves fairly simply. Put in a P tag, put in an A, anchor tag, and an href. And we'll go ahead and call this page 3. Or if we don't want to type it out ourselves, we can use the um, little dialog that pops up there. And then we'll go ahead and close this, and we can say link to page 3. And now we have uh, go ahead and press F12 to run this and make sure that it's actually doing what we wanted. And here's our link to page 3, which you can see works, and our link to page 2 still works. So now we've got a relatively complex site with three pages, which are linked uh, together to some degree. So this is Charlie Calvert. We wanted just to give you a quick overview of hyperlinks in Expression Web, um, the anchor tag, the href attribute. Uh, there's more that you can do with the anchor tag, but this is the fundamental role that the tag plays in basic HTML documents. Thank you for watching. Read more in www.alvinware.com. Bye now. Thank you.